don't know what the fuck going on. And that's what these rappers don't understand. Y'all uh, get another motherfucker. F but back to Queen. Queen Vaughn. You, you, you keep dissing. You know what I'm saying? It's like you just diss, diss, diss. Dissing, dissing. That shit is so weak to me, bro. Like, that shit is trash, bro. Like, on some real... Then when you do speak on it, the shit be trash. Like, I'm dead serious, bro. No hating shit, none of that, bro. That shit be weak. Like, you dissing it, like, just, just dissing, dissing. That shit ain't getting nowhere, man. Like, like, like... Y'all make niggas just seem like that shit just so cool, bro. That shit not cool, bro. On some real shit. I, I, I did what I did. Yeah, we made the Expose Me remix. You feel me? But, you know what I'm saying? That was some, just some hot, just, just some at the moment ass shit. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, that was my first and last diss song. I'll never diss another motherfucker a day in my life. You hear me? And it ain't that. It ain't that because I'm scared. Hell no, I ain't scared. You know what I'm saying? It's that. It's just a principle of I have, I got a, I got remorse behind shit. You get what I'm saying? Cause, cause honestly, I don't, I don't, it, it don't affect me, but I don't like when to hear another motherfucker just mention my dead homies in a song. You know what I'm saying? Or it's not even just about me dis disrespecting his homie to hurt him. You know what I'm saying? You got a, his mama looking at that shit. Mama, that person, mama been seen that. That person, kids might have seen that shit and been hurt. You know what I'm saying? I got a son at the end of the day. And I know if I was to pass away, the motherfucker be on the internet talking crazy. My son to get older and see that shit and be mad. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, you got to have remorse behind shit, man. And Duck, Duck did it too. You know what I'm saying? But 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 this what it, this what y'all feel realize with, with, with when Duck was dissing. Duck never just flat out just dissed them for nothing, nigga. It was always a a shot back. It was always he 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 was it was a shot back at them. They are said first. You see what I'm saying? Niggas are get that don't mean that that even though that don't make it okay to just go in, you know, and, and make a diss song. But they doing that shit first. You see what I'm saying? You got Vaughn steady mentioning Brick. He mentioning and Tuka in every fucking song. Come on, man. What you mean? He 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 said something back. That's what it was. Fuck you talking about. That's all it was. Like I said, I don't agree a hundred percent with what he was doing. You know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna back that shit up because that's my that's that's my cousin, and I'm with him a hundred percent. Y'all capping. They started all that. You feel me? Duck was really on some other shit. Duck was, you heard him. He even made the Chicago legends, even, even like mentioning motherfuckers from the ops, like paying his respects to motherfuckers who he felt like was legends from the city. You know what I'm saying? That passed away. He did shit like that to show a change, to show that he was trying to change. But you got motherfuckers like them that pull a motherfucker right back in that don't see that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? And then you got the labels. That try to make them out to a bad person, just because this side in the door already. That shit, nah. That shit not cool, man. But this ain't about no GDBD ass shit, man. It's bigger than that, man. For real, man. And if Shorty was smart, he, he need to be running up. He need to be running behind Dirk. See, Dirk don't get in the song and say names and shit. Vaughn gonna be the motherfucker that fuck up. He gonna be the one that fuck up and fuck around and let a motherfucker get in the dough. That's what he gonna do. You gonna mention the wrong motherfucker on the wrong song, and it fucking around do blow up, and it's just gonna blow that person up. You gonna be stupid as hell. That's what's gonna happen, man. These niggas be really chasing clout. Niggas was chasing duck clout on my son, even though nigga might have been doing more numbers than than than, than duck, whatever it is. But on my son, folks. 
folks put fear in niggas. Folks really got niggas mentioning him. He ain't even, folks in Chicago still. See what I'm saying? These niggas all the way out of state mentioning folks. How the fuck is you out of state eating good, living good, driving good, and you still get up, get, you still seem to go in the studio and mention too. That's some dumb shit, bro. Like, I don't understand niggas, man. Get y'all shit together, man. Then, then again, this ain't no hating shit. I don't hate on nobody. You know what I'm saying? I don't hate on nobody. My son, I don't. And that's just, that's just how it go. And, but I know one thing, motherfuckers ain't finna be making Duck seem like he was no bad person, none of that. Because Duck was, well, my son, Duck was a real-ass nigga. Real-ass nigga. Real stand-up nigga. On well, my son, like, I always show everybody love. And this is how I know Duck was a real-ass nigga. It was a time I told Duck, like, I ain't gonna lie, because uh, you be too friendly. You see what I'm saying? Because that's just the type of person he was, a friendly-ass person. I don't give a fuck. See, you got certain niggas out here that'll see a nigga and be like, his ass is goofy. I ain't talking to his ass. His ass is lame. See, Duck won that type. Whether you were lame or not, he accepted you and he fucked with you. You know what I'm saying? That's just how it was. That's just how he was. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck if you was a lame, but he was a, a gangster in the streets. He going to treat both of y'all the same on some real shit. That's how Duck was. And then you, that's the thing, too. He studied this in Wooski, like, come on, G. Wooski, like, on some real shit, bro. Like, you study this in a motherfucker. And, and, you, and you looking even stupider because the nigga ain't even mentioning, the nigga ain't even responding to your slab ass. You just study mentioning this nigga. Then the killer part is, this, I heard some shit, too. This what, this what niggas fuck up on, too, doing shit like this. Like, that's not no real artist shit. Real artists don't even do shit like that, bro. On some real shit. You just a young dumbass nigga that got in the dough through your homie. That's it. Real artists, I heard some goofy shit. Like he did a song with uh what's his name? Cowboy. Nah, I ain't got no beef with Cowboy. You feel me? I ain't got no beef with Cowboy. But when you let Vaughn get on a song, talking about smoking on this and smoking on scrap. You see what I'm saying? You get on the song talking about smoking on scrap. Why would you even participate in a song like that? Knowing what type of energy that'll cause. But that's because niggas be dick sucking and niggas be picking sides. That's picking sides. You see what I'm saying? Now, that's like me getting on a song with, um, let's say, uh, let me make an inference. Shit, whoever. Shit, that's like me getting on a song with, Cowboy on phone. That's like me getting on the phone song with Cowboy saying, "Fuck old block" or "Fuck um woo woo woo," smoking on woo woo woo. He gonna be like, motherfucker. Be, you know what I'm saying? I wish a motherfucker would hop on my song saying all that. I'll be man if you don't take that shit off of that man. Cause at the end of the, that nigga, that that shows you that nigga don't give a fuck about Cowboy. He don't get no fuck about Cowboy. That man don't care. Cowboy could walk out his walk out of his house, get shot in his head because of that shit. And he wouldn't get no fuck. He wouldn't even say it on, a, on, a, on that type of song. Like, with a big artist like that, you you on a song saying, Goofy, you, you get an opportunity to do a song. You know what I'm saying? Both of y'all come together to collab, and you get on there talk about smoking, scrapping, tuba. You goofy as hell, man. That, that's some dumb shit. Like, that's some dumb shit, like. He said, you did it with Duck. Nah, 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 I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I ain't do that with Duck, my cousin, first of all. And me and Duck got the same ops. So if I get on a song talking about some niggas, it's going to be the same niggas he talking about. You see what I'm saying? And it's the, I only did that on one fucking song. You hear me? I did that on one song. And me and Duck did it. That was our, that was our focus was to do that. We focused on doing that. We, we did that on purpose. You get what I'm saying? But that's the thing. I could do that with Duck. But
people get on those songs with um with a big with a mainstream. I'm not I'm not finna go get on no motherfucking song with with cowboy and say smoking smoking O D. You know why? Cause I know them not cowboy ops. And I know I'm not even finna try to even put him in his beef. Cause I know he could get smoked behind shit like that. You see what I'm saying? That's where being an artist come in, come in, come and play at. A lot of these niggas not real artists, man. I agree. Exposing me is one of the greatest songs. Hell yeah, it is. You know what I'm saying? But it's also one of the disrespectfulest songs. You see what I'm saying? And like I said in my interview, I ain't proud of it. Hell nah. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is, and it was what it was. Y'all got to look at this shit, man. Like, for real, man. This shit ain't, like, like, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't got no motherfucker. I ain't stressing. I ain't worried about nothing. I ain't. I ain't, I ain't fucked up about nothing. You hear me? My money good. I don't, I don't got to show no money. I ain't got to do none of that, man. I'm decent. You hear me? My son get a meal every night. He get clothes and shoes when he need it. I'm good. You hear me? See what I'm saying? Like, that's the type of shit, too. See, he's the type to get on the song with Polo G and do that goofy shit. You see what I'm saying? And knowing Polo G ain't even the type to diss nobody. Polo G don't even diss his own fucking ops. Polo G never got on the song. You don't even know who Polo G ops is. You know why? Because he don't mention their ass. And if he do, at the end of the day, they ain't going to do shit, but come right behind that trying to diss him. And then now they in the dough. It's like at the end of the day, he's smart. That's a real fucking artist. That's what artists do. That's a real artist. I made it. You hear me? Y'all, y'all always talk about you gonna make it and this and that. You just coming. I made it. I'm good. I'm where I wanna be, bro. I'm straight, man. I'm there. I'm there, man. Motherfucker that. Uh, we talk, talk labels, all type of shit, man. I don't, I don't, they didn't offer the all type of shit. I don't be even speaking on that type of shit, y'all. I'm where I want to be. Say Polo is from the suburb. Nah, Polo from up north, man. Polo from up north. They be gang, they, they, they be getting it on over there too. Don't think it's sweet. It, it go down in their hood too. 